next week with you. You have a end of term quiz 10%. Okay, which cover? We have 10 MCQ, making 40 minutes. And this, you will, you will do it one question at a time and without backtracking. Let me see, see one question, you answer, then the quick next, next answer, next answer question, okay? But you cannot go back already. So this is the uh, one, and then the there's five percent or tutorial question make up total of fifteen percent for MSC, and you have to turn on the webcam. So I mean, right down here, you have to turn on the webcam. Turn on webcam. Okay. Turn on the webcam so that I can see you. I'm working on the desk. Okay. So this is the one requirement. I think for I think most of the school have this. So you must turn on webcam so that we can see you playing the quiz. Okay, so so usually there are people who turn on the webcam using their mobile phone. So that can place it. Uh, so that can place it in a wide angle. That show me your your working. Although then you on the on your laptop to do the quiz. Okay, but if you can actually turn your webcam on your laptop, fine. Okay, you just only two device. But you can write use two two device. One to go into Microsoft Team. One to web the body more. Okay. So this is how it looks like when you turn on webcam. So you don't need to show your face, but you can most likely you can show your face most likely. Okay. Okay. And before you take a quiz, you have to do a declaration saying that you are doing honest. Yeah, yeah, you're being honest, no cheating. Okay, then what are topic you actually do? Okay, the topic, topic tested in MST. Okay, topic tested in MST. Okay, uh, end of term quiz, right? In end of term quiz. Okay, they are just three core revision. The three core revision. We say done already, but you are using a trickle revision. Okay, trickle revision and uh, sign law for sign law. So, the revision and right angle triangle, right? Or right angle triangle, right angle triangle. Triangle. Okay, trickle so revision including ASTC, you know? STC, okay, and then triangle, triangle, and then sine law, cosine law, general sine law, cosine law, change the general triangle, and then bearing question, bearing, okay, how to do bearing this week? You have some question on bearing. You know, try it. You know, see what kind of question come out in bearing, and then speaker. So that means that the PS rule, lah. Let me write right now. The PS rule. The PS rule including the PS view, right? So the PS view. So the person will write easy. And then the speaker sign law. Then speaker for sign law. Then one final application in pairing.
Okay. Another like question in Marvin. Bearing question, you know. Okay. Bearing question, just normal triangle only. Okay. Then what do? Then bearing triangle. So these are the topic tested more or less go according to the order of question and level of difficulty in in the end of time quiz. Okay, so today we are going to do a new topic and this topic is not tested in the end of time test. Okay, uh, question we will skip a uh, Example seven and example eight. So the four part TLM we have skip. So they are well detested in an ES in a in an SM as well. Okay. So let me maybe record this lesson now. Now on. Okay. So actually. Say somebody has recorded that lesson. Okay, fine, good. So this is a uh, application of navigation. Okay, using so far on spherical triangle. Okay, the reason why you use spherical triangle because the Earth basically is a sphere, model like a sphere. So when the ship move from point A to point B, let's say they are point A and point B there. So let's say point A is here, point B is here. Maybe I should switch on the volume of C and E. Okay, I can switch on it here. At the point A and point B. So how do we actually measure the distance between point A and point B? Usually what we do is uh, measure a distance in along the grid circle because we can join the join the point to the north pole. Okay, to so join the point of north pole. So this north pole here. So the sheet move from point A to point B. Okay, so north pole. So when you when you measure usually uh, move. From point B, I see. I look at here. Usually, when you draw a bearing question, right? When you do a bearing question, you, you usually draw this one. Okay, this is going to north. The ship go this way, right? So the ship go this way. This is the type anchor here, alpha here. So this end you can see from here. This is actually going to the north pole now. Instead of a straight line, you are not going to look at a straight line now because it's a curve now. Okay, great circle now. This is going to the north pole. Of course, it's not the, the, this direction to the north pole. Okay, then alpha is an angle here. This bearing question, the bearing is here. Alpha, the shape, right? This is another view of the situation. And then on the other hand, you can actually look at as a ship move this way. Okay, then it reach the point B. Okay, it reach the point B, and from here, this A here. At the point B, you also direction to the north pole. So this is direction to the north pole again. So where is the bearing of the ship now? The bearing of the ship in this case is this one now. So this anchor here is beta here. So beta is this anchor here, the bearing of the ship in this direction. Okay, so this indicates the situation in in the diagram of having the three great circle the form okay before and then the 
alpha usually is the called the initial cost. So alpha is also called the initial cost of the ship. Yeah, it's where it started. And beta is where it reached the destination. Beta is called the final cost. Basically, it's the bearing of the ship. Uh -huh. You can look at it from the picture. Bearing of the ship is the final cost. And beginning cost, dimension is hit too. Okay, this is the uh, sum, beginning, introduction. Okay, all this curve are actually formed by great circle. Great circle are circle pass through the center of the earth. Okay, so that's for information. Okay, of course now, how do you uh, uh, specify the location of A and B? I think you all know that we can use the uh, longitude and latitude. Okay, so let's see how picture look like this. Now this is a picture, larger picture. Okay, so the ship, okay, travel from A to B, this direction of travel, and then this is direction to North Pole, direction to North Pole. So alpha and beta are the bearing, okay, of the ship. And we we call PA, okay, we have name for this, right? The side PA here. So this PA is the uh, one of the side to the North Pole. Okay, so this is actually the well the meridian. The curve, this is actually a meridian here. Uh, and depend on what is the location of the point. So this distance PA, we have named for this. We call it the cold latitude. The distance PA is a complement of latitude. Huh? Well, that's why it's called cold latitude here. Now understand this that the cold latitude. Complement of latitude, okay? Cold latitude means complement of latitude here. Okay? Complement of latitude. This means means. 90 degree minus latitude. Okay, so and then PB is also called a cold latitude now, but cold latitude of B, PB here, is also cold latitude of B here. And then AB is a quick circle distance from A to B. Okay, so this form a triangle there. Okay, I will explain to you alpha and beta, basically initial cost and finance cost of the ship. Okay, then there is another point I want to mention in this year because next sample we show you early. I have a point called the vertex. Okay, vertex along which circle for A to B, right? What does it mean a vertex? Vertex is a point nearest to the North Pole along the track. So somewhere here is a vertex here. Vertex is somewhere here. Let's say this point is a vertex here, V. What is the meaning of vertex? Vertex is the nearest point to the pole. Okay, Vertex is the nearest point closest to the pole. Okay. Closest to the pole. So depend on where the word, where the where it hit up, sometimes the nearest of pole in this case not not pole, right? So nearest point of not pole, what does it mean? It means that the angle is 90 degree. You draw the not pole to be is 90 degree. Okay, 90 degree, then you have a vertex, you cut the curve, subquest the curve on A to B. Okay, then you have a vertex here. And because of nearer distance, the angle must be 90 degree. Okay, so you write angle triangle now. 
So this is a introduction on the background. Okay, so let's look at example now. Example nine. Okay, this is example nine now. The sheep leave a position. Okay, this let's call it A here. Let's say this A here. 25 degree, 31 degree north, and 60 degree west. So tell you the position of A. Let's say this is A here. So this position is 25 degree, 30 degree, 31 degree north, and 是第一個位置。這是A。這是A。這是A。這是A。這是A。這是A。這是A。這是A。這是A。這是A。這是A。這是A。這是A。這是A。這是A。這是A。這是A。這是A。這是A。這是A。這是A。這是A。這是A。這
So, and then this, because of this, this line is uh, what we call the meridian. So this is actually where? 60 degree west, okay? From the picture, from the diagram, the picture problem is the, this uh, location is 60 degree west, okay? 60 degree west. And the latitude is 25 degree north. So you can draw this, okay, 25 degree north, what does it mean? It means that if this is the center of the earth, so somebody the center of the earth, join the equator and together A. This is 25 degree, 31 minutes. Okay, this is 25 degree, 35, 25 minutes, right? So from the picture, from the information, this 25 degree, 31 minutes. Okay, go back and check again. Okay, 25 degree, 31 minutes. Okay, basically, tell you this angle. Okay, this is how you tell the position. Okay, longitude and latitude, right? Longitude is 60 degree west. Latitude is 25 degree, 31 minute. Okay, now you look at, I, I want to find the distance here from the center of the earth to the North Pole. So what is this distance PA equal to? All the distance I mentioned in angle now. Okay, PA, the length of PA is what called Cool latitude. Okay. Cool latitude of A. So this is actually cool latitude means 90 degree minus A. Okay. The let A means let uh, the latitude of A, okay? 90 degree minus latitude A, okay? Latitude A. So, because uh, 90 degree minus 90 degree, so you can, you, then you check the answer. Okay, 90 minus this one, how much is the co-relative now? So, you can get the co-relative A now. So, you can see the Y is it 99 right? because from the equator to the North Pole, the angle is 90 degree. So, it's actually 90 minus 25 degree, 31 minutes. And you'll find that this is actually 64 degree, 29 minutes. Okay, so co-relative means this is the other angle. So this is the other angle, you know, this is, what's the different color now? 64 degree, 29 minutes, PA. Right? Because total angle from the equator to the north pole is 90 degree. So this is called the correlative of A. So understand the situation for this diagram, how to find the correlative of A. Okay, so now somewhere the, the actually where the ship moves now, the ship, this is this direction to the north pole. This direction to the north pole, right? So the ship moves in 68 bearing. So as we draw a triangle, you see the ship is moving in this way direction. This angle is 68 degree. The bearing is 68 degree. Okay, this is a north pole, 68 degree. Okay, this is how it, it Move like that. So I'm looking for a vertex. Vertex is the nearest point to the on the track. Huh? So nearest point to on the track here in this case, because the move in the dimension is 68 degree. So in this case, there's a vertex. The vertex is somewhere here. Okay, this is actually continue, right? So there's a vertex here. 
okay, their anchor is 90 degree. Vertex is nearest point of the pole. So the question is, what is actually the location of this vertex now? We need the longitude and latitude. Okay, so let's see what can we do. Because of the right angle triangle, immediately you know you have to use the PS rule. Okay, immediately there is no respect the PS rule. So I just WhatsApp this picture to use because this picture tells a lot of information. Okay, okay, the picture tells a lot of information. A lot of information here. So let me WhatsApp this picture to you. Uh, let's see where it's COC. Yep. Okay, so I go back to the question and do some calculation. Okay, so I'm going to use a Napier rule now. Okay. Same diagram. So Napier so what you doing? You have to know where is 90 degree, right? 90 degree is there, V. So you go towards the 90 degree clockwise. So this direction move here. Go to PV. Then get our PV. Then look at anchor A. Then move this. Right? This is 90 degree. This is how you arrange the Napier's view. So let's look at this one. And draw a view here. Napier's view. You have to know how to draw Napier's view, you know, because in the MST uh, end of term test, we are asking you to fill in the blank. The correct thing, correct thing you fill in. So, of course, the 90 degree is V. Okay, then you follow the clockwise Napier view. So the first thing is going to V, is this PV, right? Going to V is PV here. So this is PV here, is the first thing you put in. Then the next thing is when you leave PV, okay? When you leave V, okay? Leaving the V now is this side now. This is VA. Then you encounter the angle A. Then you move along the side PA. PA. So PA is this one. So go on side PA now. Then encounter the anchor P. And the lower part, oh, you have a com. Right, so this is the Napier view. This after you complete the Napier view already, and you fill in the blank. Okay. So first of all, let's calculate what is the core latitude of A, right? As just now I mentioned that latitude of A is 25 degree, 31 minute north. So core latitude of A, PA, okay, PA is actually called a core latitude of A, means the length of PA, okay? It's just 90 degree minus 25 degree, 31 minutes. And then you find that this is actually 64 degree, 29 minutes, okay? The one I calculate the PA for you, if you look at the picture just now, okay? How to find the core latitude, 90 degree minus 90 or A. Okay, this is the distance from P to A. Okay, so this is 64 degree, 29 minutes as the Angle from equator to the north pole is 90 degree. Okay, then, so I know PA is, is 
is this one. This is a uh, 64 degree, 29 minutes. And I know what else? I know the anchor A, right? Bearing. Okay, anchor A is 68 degree. So, based on this, what is the easiest thing to do? Okay, if you know this information, the easiest thing is to find PV. Okay? The most immediate thing you can find is a PV now. PV, the opposite of PV is these two opposite. Uh, opposite, like I use a, I want to use a, don't use green. Opposite, I use blue usually. So let me use the blue here. Opposite. Okay. So this is the obvious thing to do. PB equal to. So the Nobius rule say that. Okay. Use the next page. Now I'm going to use the next page to show you the working. So let me WhatsApp this to you. So see the working. This one. So let me copy this thing to the next page here. Okay, so. Okay, so after I got this early, I'm going to use the Nipias rule, okay? So Nipias rule have a key point, it's a sine of middle part, okay? Sine of the middle part equal to product of tangent. No, product of cosine of opposite. This is one of the rule for Napier's rule, okay? Sine of middle part, middle part as user. Okay, and then I use the arrow for middle part and I use blue for opposite. So that means that the formula I should use is sine of PV. Okay, PV is the middle part here. Equal to product of cosine. So this will be product of cosine. So one of cosine. Now, you have to be careful now. Both of them in the lower part of the view. So one of them is cosine of calm A. Okay. One of the cosine of calm A. So you use a blue part here, calm A. The other one also cosine again. Okay. It's cosine of Com P A again in the lower half. Okay, we know something about com and the cosine of com A. Immediately you you can recall away right? cosine of com A is just equal to sine of A. Okay. Cosine of com A is such as sine of A. Cosine of com P A is just sine of P A. Okay, if you do this kind of question over and over again, you immediately know how to convert them. So, sine of A, we put in there, sine of 60 degree. P A is sine of 68 degree. Okay, so from here, you can find out what is actually this now. PV, you'll find that this is equal to, let's calculate in 0 0.8, 3, 6, 7, and so on. 
okay, it's not exactly that, but it's a possibility. So I'll get PV now. So PV is equal to sine inverse of 0 0.8367. And you find that around 56 degree, 48 millimeter. Okay, this is a PV. Now, in the if if you just have a pure triangle problem, I know there's an answer, right? Or PV is equal to one eight zero minus fifty six degree forty eight minutes. Okay, so you press the calculator again. Let me check the calculator. Then press the now. So you take my edge law, my edge law, degree minus fifty six degree forty eight minutes, then you get one two three. Okay, if you do it normal, just normal spectral triangle, you see you have two possibility. Okay, but then. We will go and reject this one, okay? For the for why is the reason we reject this one? Okay, why is it we reject this one? First of all, PV is corresponding to sixty-eight degree. Okay, I know PA now. PA is actually sixty-four degree, right? Let me write there. Yeah, you can see for a picture. PA is 64 degree, 29 minutes. PA is corresponding to this angle 90 degree. Okay, 90 degree, the opposite side is 64 degree, 29 minutes. Okay, 90 degree, this degree here, 90 degree, this is 64 degree. Okay, so PV must be less than the, the largest angle is 90 degree, right? Now, the PV is opposite 68 degree. So the PV cannot be la longer, long, longer than 64 degree, right? As PV here, okay? As PV must be less than what now? 64 degree, 29 minutes, okay? Because the largest angle it's 90, 90 degree. The, the side opposite the largest, largest angle is 64 degree, 29 minutes. And the angle A is only 68 degree. So PV should be less than 64 degree, 29 minutes. Okay, so you know to reject this one. So you finally conclude that PV is 56 degree, 48 minutes. Okay, so PV is uh, 56 degree now. 48 minutes. So this is the PV now. 56 degree, 48 minutes. Okay, so until now, okay, right? So this is actually how you calculate PV. So let's set this picture to you first. Okay, so what is the significance of this PV? Okay, from P to V is 56 degree, 48 minutes. So let me go back to the picture of Earth again. Okay, so I know that PV 
this distance here, if 56 degree, 48 minutes. Okay, PB, I find out this distance here. Okay. So what does it mean? Where is the location of V now? Okay. So PB, the length of PB are from P to V, 56 degree, 48 minutes. So where is the, okay, so from here, you know, okay, let me write here. PB is 56 degree, 48 minutes. So if you want to draw a picture, do something like this now. From here to here, there's an anchor. This is called the latitude of V, right? So latitude of V, okay, latitude of V in this case, what now? It's 90 minus 56 degree, 48, right? So you take 90 minus this one, so get 90 minus this one, 56 degree, 48 minutes. So you get 33 degree per minute. Okay, so that means that this angle here is, we find out that it's actually 33 degree per minute, right? Because if you know, this basically tell you 56, 48 minutes, mean this anchor 56, huh? 56 degree, 4 minutes. Okay, so that is why you know, you know PA, you know, you know PB now, basically the anchor is uh, 56 degree, 48 minutes. Therefore the opposite, okay, the latitude is 33 degree, 12 minute and co latitude. And so we know the latitude of V now. Okay, so we know the latitude of V now. So let me continue. I'll draw a picture again. Let me write this picture again. Why this important, important picture now? So from here, we can answer the question where is the Okay, where is the location? Okay, so latitude of V now, so you can find out. So let me write down somewhere, no space already. So let me write down here. So latitude of A, okay, let me here, let me here, here. Okay, so I write. Let it be now. Let it of V. Okay, it's just 90 degree minus 56 degree 48 minute, and this one 33 degree 12 minutes. Okay, you can verify this by looking at the ship, the cost of the ship, right? You see that from here, the actually the ship actually from from A. Okay, the ship actually moving north, right? Okay, the ship actually move north, right? Towards north and east. Okay, direction you can see that it actually going towards north and east. So it actually it go high up. And from a picture, it actually go high up. So you can see that going toward north and east. So from 25 degree, 33, 21 minute, 31 minutes, right? You go to 33 degree, 12 minutes, going upwards. Okay, so this is the, uh, let me go to the next page now. Okay, so let's go to the next page, okay? I'm doing the calculation. I've almost finished already, let's try to, to find this thing. So, I did copy first.
and one go to node, node this page now. Okay, we so I'm gonna do another calculation. So let me get rid of all the calculation now. Edit select copy first. So I don't want this now. Okay, and then I want to don't want to color anymore. I want to use different color now. So this one no more yellow. This TV here. And then this one no more blue. Okay, what I want to find now is the location of uh, V, right? So Let's try to figure out what is the P and the P first. So the P here is a yellow one. You can find P. You can also find AV. But AV they didn't ask for you. AV is the distance between A to V, right? But they are not asking for this. So I want to find out P now. P will give you the location again. So what are the information I have? Okay. I cannot use opposite because opposite VA are the known. So I can only use this adjacent now. Adjacent. So adjacent is this one. Next to it, the P. So I use a green color one. So the Napier's rule. Okay, what does Napier's rule say? So you have Napier's rule say that sign our middle part is equal to product of tangent. Okay, so our middle part is a product of tangent and adjacent. So let me shift this a bit here. Okay, product of tangent of adjacent. Sign of middle part is product of tangent or adjacent. I always use the yellow color for middle part. And then adjacent always use the green color. So if you do that, let's see how to do it. Huh? So write down first. Okay, middle part is P, right? So this way is sign. Now P is in the lower half of you, so you have to use Compete. Okay, compete is lower half of the video, so we have to do compete here. And equal to product of the tangent. So this equal to product of tangent, right? It just one of the PV, so you can write tangent of PV, then time tangent of com p a because p a is in the lower half of p wheel so you have to use com there so now let's simplify this we know that tangent p v is still tangent p b but Tangent com PA. Okay, now if you do it now, exercise already, then you know tangent com PA is 1 over tangent PA. So this is tangent of PB is 56 degree 48 minutes and then over tangent of PA, tangent of PA is 64 degree 29 minutes. Okay, then you find out. Okay, now how about sine of comp P? Sine of comp P is the same as cosine of P. Okay, sine of comp P is the same as cosine of P. Now, press the calculator. 
Okay, so this is a tangent of 56 degree 48 minutes divided by tangent of 64 degree 29 minutes. Okay, then what is this equal to? 0 0.724 944. So your P is actually cosine inverse 0 0.724 944. So you press cosine inverse here. So shift cosine inverse the answer and then you find P equal to 46 degree 10 minutes. 43 degree 10 minutes. Send P. So 43 degree 10 minutes. The center P. Okay, it's 43 degree, 10 minutes now. Okay, we have answer P now. What does it mean? The P is 43 degree, 10 minutes. Okay, so what does it mean? So, we go back to the Earth again. Go back to Earth again. P is 43 degree, let me, let me go back to up now. Okay. This angle P is 43 degree 10 minutes. So this angle, it means that this angle is 43 degree 10 minutes. So how can, then how do you know the location of V now? We can use this angle, right? So the ship actually moved from A to V. Okay, move from A to V. So it's actually moving in the northeast direction. Okay, northeast direction. Okay, to the northeast side. Right? So this is actually location A. Okay, A as 60 degree west. So it actually move in the direction of northeast, actually to the east. Uh -huh. So what is the back, what is the location of V now? So this is actually longitude of V now. So if you draw this quick circle again, where is this line now? So this line how much it move towards this direction right it move towards this direction how much it move in the angle is 60 43 degree 10 minutes okay so the longitude of v now is just 60 degree the minus 43 degree, 10 minutes. Okay, it moves over the east. So you actually subtract. Okay, it moves over to the east, right? You have 60 degree west. So what you, sub, you subtract, how much degree you move to the east? So you'll find that this is actually uh, equal to, uh, subtract the, the P here, then you get 15 degree, and 50 minutes still on the west side right unless you move more than 60 degree then it become the east side so now we are still on the left side this is 15 degree 50 minutes west okay so i know the location of v now so from here you can calculate the longitude right 
So let get this picture and pass it to you. Okay, a lot of information inside there. So I'll go back to this one. So after you got this 43 degree that minute, so you can see the longitude of B is just 60 degree. You move to the minus 43 degree 10 minutes. So it's still on the west side. Okay, unless you move more than 60 degree, right? Unless you move more than 60 degree, then you become the east side already. So this is still on the west side. That's why you got these two answers, the longitude and latitude from here. Okay, so this is the example 9. Okay, so the answer is actually here already. So this answer. So this question is about right angle, spare angle, triangle. So for right angle, spare angle, triangle, you need to apply Napier's rule. A Napier's rule has two rules. Okay, it's a product mid sine of middle. It's a product of cosine or opposite. Or Sine middle is a product of tangent or adjacent. So which one do you use? Depend on what information given to you, then you just see the immediate re reaction. What is the best way to find the unknown? Okay, in this question, uh, we are putting it into application now. So it's just not it's just not pure triangle question already. It's not pure spherical triangle already. So a lot information and put in your context you have to calculate the location okay where is longitude latitude of location of why moving on on the planet earth already so it's, it's not just calculate length so this is actually quite a good example to start with okay today i can only cover this but next example will be a bit too long already okay the next example i think will be too long so I'll keep it for next next week. Okay, that will be for yeah. Okay. So this is example nine. So I can stop recording now because I know more new thing already. So okay, stop recording.